for the last few days uh, we've been trying to build an igloo in the garden and and we started last weekend now it's next sunday and uh, it looks like that it's hard to say it's visible it looks like that so it is like 19 centimeters tall maybe maybe 18 centimeters tall i think there are eight layers already we use the boxes from milk and juices to produce the bricks so we just filled all the boxes with water and it took to around it took around one year to collect 400 boxes and we were getting boxes from friends and neighbors now it looks a bit messy but basically this side of the house was filled with the boxes and the mistake i've made was that all these boxes were packed together in a small area and they were they weren't frozen fast enough i was hoping they would froze within one day theoretically they should froze within eight hours but even after two days the boxes which were in the middle of this box weren't frozen so so i had i had to just spread them around and the best idea would be to just spread them around from the get-go but after two or three days we got all of them frozen so we started building and whenever we got a new box we were adding the box to the collection and there are three dominant sizes of these boxes or shapes there is a meal box like this one and it is cuboid when it's 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters by like six centimeters five six centimeters and there are these boxes which are cuboids but they're their base is a square and they are taller than the other ones and also there are these boxes from the juices and there are not cuboids they are strangely shaped and there are also taller even than these ones so basically there are three shapes so you can align which layer of the bricks with the shape and already we used only only this and I got eight layers and I'm hoping for the next layer from those but probably it won't happen because I need around 25 of them I will check if not then we are going to use probably those it took around five maybe six hours to fill all the boxes with water and to put them outside and then like I said three days to froze them so at the moment I got eight layers and to lay one layer it takes around one and a half hour you have to unwrap all the boxes and they lay them down they are kind of irregular in shape so it is not that easy to fit them all together but uh, sometimes I managed to get a layer within an hour but generally it's quite time consuming actually we waited five years to build it because we haven't got a really cold winter last five years it was never below 10 degrees celsius and it was never longer than than a week and this time i checked the the weather and and it seemed that it would be two weeks of minus 10 temperatures and uh, actually when we started building it was uh, around minus 15 during the day and minus 20 during the night that's why we were able to froze those quite fast and then it was every day two layers but maybe the first day i put on one layer and then two layers every day and it is what it is and i'm hoping for another two layers today and maybe i'm going to close close with the roof uh, we haven't decided to make a like this concave shape because it's the the, the bricks are too too small and also if you want to make this concave uh, shape you have to press each uh, 
brick and wait till it is frozen into the construction itself it would took a longer longer much longer to lay one layer with small bricks so so i decided just to build this round shape and then i'm gonna cover it with some some roof <coughs> with some wooden beam beams and then something something on top of it either the tarp or or probably some uh, roof cover i got i got some roof cover from building the playground so it is not a not a problem we'll see the bad news is that uh, we already got today there would be a zero degrees the hottest zero degrees celsius and it might mean that is gonna melt at least a bit but yesterday was plus one and it haven't melted because it's in shaded area i have chosen this place because it's shaded all day long so probably here is never above zero but i can see that the snow is already melting on the roof and water is dripping so it's not a it's not a good news anyway i'm going to lay another layer and we'll see probably i won't get enough of these rectangular boxes so i'm going to use the square ones and that they are longer so maybe i need less of them that might be an issue because i i won't get uh, each additional brick on the seam and then uh, if they are longer the seam would move <coughs> along and maybe I have to cut some but generally with the wooden so you can cut and those bricks to land very quickly and it's not not a problem and to stick them together I use this pressing bottle <coughs> and creates a really thin layer of water and it freezes kind of fast and I will demonstrate in a minute now I'm going to take around 30 of the bricks, transport them here with my sledge, paper sledge, and and we'll see how we start building. Yeah, so I got myself around 30 boxes or paper sled, and I'm going to cut them open, lay them around, and then I'll be laying another layer. And to glue, to glue them, I use this spritzing bottle and and also snow to fill the gaps because they are not really well shaped. It's actually not that hard to open this. Just one cut here, watching your hands, and legs another cut here. And it's open and there are each side is differently shaped because we squash all the all the boxes and then we reshape them we squash them to save on space and then we, we reshape them so they are not in ideal shape and also even if you put uh, put a water under some pressure they would <coughs> they wouldn't hold original shape shape and also it is not filled till the till the top or it's filled too much then you got this strange shape but actually it helps when you lay each bricks next to another it creates a round shape so it's not a problem although that that bulge might be a problem but you can just scrape it off with a with a saw <coughs> so usually i open two of them cut but it's quite fast but sometimes it takes a minute to open one it's really frozen and i lay them around and it's much faster to work that way not open one and lay it just open all of them lay them around and then work your way laying the layer and 
this, this time this one is different sometimes there are there is some debris left so it's harder to get like milk or juice so but usually it is quite fast I guess I developed some kind of the lean, I lean the process of laying a layer just before I started from unwrapping one, putting it up. Maybe it was better from the freezing perspective because before I put another one, the first one was initially freezing in, but this way it's much faster to unpack them. And this is a, from the milk and it's actually green or yellow, hard to say. So the, there are around 400 of the bricks and I only destroyed maybe one or two. So I'm transporting only two at the same time because they are kind of slippery and if you drop them they are broken very easily, they are kind of, fra kind of fragile but the igloo itself seems to be very hard and this thing is frozen of course if I dig in I break it but at the end I would probably put a layer of water here and heat the inside to melt it a bit and then it would freeze back the bad news is that within three days we are going to have temperatures above zero degrees which means means that everything will be melting we'll see how fast this will melt but uh, if with temperatures above zero it it will probably be not be safe to be inside the igloo it's hard to say we'll see maybe it can keep up few days with such temperatures and actually i want to uh, sleep in the igloo at least once so we'll see and to lay a brick I have to take a brick actually put some snow here so I'm going to put some snow around then I sprinkle the brick put some snow on one end on the first brick knot and then lay them around like that I'm going to put the snow around and then lay next layer and actually the wetter the snow is the better it sticks so Today is kind of ideal snow, although it seems that in shade it's not that wet. But it's wetter than before. So when it's minus 15 outside, it's the, the, the snow is not sticky and it's hard to glue next layer. The snow is on top of the igloo. Now I can try and lay a brick. Well, this one got odd shape anyway a lot of bricks got this odd bottom but you can use it as a, as an advantage to create a seam but you have to put a lot of snow here so so i take my spritz bottle i spritz the snow i spritz the, the brick on the bottom on and on the end Then I compact some snow here and I put a brick on top and sometimes you can feel that this is like glued already this time it's not that then I take snow compact in my hand and I push it in all the create a seam I try to compact it inside and that's it for the first one and then the second is a bit different so the next one is a bit different I'm not choosing the bulbous end or the flat end and I'm also layering, layering to use the shape 
of this to create an angle. Compact some snow. Spreading the snow. Pressing, pressing them when they are not glued yet. So I'm taking the snow, trying to compact it inside and I have to compact it here. I have to, oh, and they are moving, both moving. It's not a good sign. It also depends on the shape of them. So I'm compacting snow here. Sometimes you, after you press the brick, you can feel that it's already like glued instantly and sometimes they just move around all the time. But then you spritz the seams to help them freeze. And the problem here is that these bricks got different shape and they are fatter than the, the layer below and probably would be a better idea to use them in the down layers but it is what it is uh, I got much more of those cuboid ones that's why I've chosen them and then next one they are oddly shaped And then it's all the same. You repeat this 27 times and you got a layer. And, and also when they freeze there is some kind of the physical reaction when they press on each other. So the down layers are frozen really hard. So they stick together hard because there is something going on when you press together freezing materials. It's also the same for metal. So, so it's like some kind of the <coughs> they are creating some kind of the bond. No idea how that works exactly, but it works somehow. And spray it again. And the layer is built. It took it a bit longer with recording the video, but and I think there will be only one additional layer which will support the roof and that's it. Yeah so yesterday I laid the last layer. There are two beams, two by fours just some leftovers I got <laughs> and they are glued between the bricks just spread apart by 70 centimeters and there are three deck boards on top and they are screwed in with the deck screws just it's not a for construction purpose but I would lay roofing felt on it and just to prevent it from moving it's, it's not a permanent construction and it seems that tomorrow or day after tomorrow there will be plus four degrees celsius so they probably melt away uh, but today in the in the night it was minus 12 so it is seems like it is rock solid now So I'm going to cut the roofing felt, I hope I got enough and I think I would put three stripes overlapping on each other but I'm, I'm wondering if I, I have to remove the foil because it won't stick to anything 
so probably I would leave the foil or maybe on on the top layer which is overlapping other two I would remove the foil and let it glue but probably it won't glue because of the, the temperature is below zero and if you remove the foil it stinks so I probably wouldn't I will see and then I would put some snow on top of the on top of the roofing felt I guess to keep it in place I won't be attaching I can attach with the nail gun I can attach them but I think there is no use it's better to just weight it with snow or maybe bricks and that's it so I'm going to do it because I start my 9 to 5 job within an hour yeah, so roof is up it is not the prettiest roof in the world but I think it would do the job I put some paving bricks to keep it together and it is also nailed using these roofing nails to just prevent it from sliding off because this the wall is slippery so there are three layers that way and one layer that way because those are one meter long and it was hard to make make it even so the middle beam is one meter away from this wall and from this wall so it is what it is but there are three overlapping layers and there's another layer which prevents from anything dripping here and with temperatures below zero this roofing felt is not the best thing to work with because it's br brittle but it works I guess I'm going inside the, <coughs> the downside of using those 2x4s as beams is that the ceiling is lowered I'm inside the igloo there is this roof it look like a cheap construction but it is cheap construction and the small downside is that this roofing felt stinks it, it is not like repulsing and I guess after a few hours it would be gone but it stinks a bit so now I can think about sleeping here and we'll see because my sleeping bag is not a winter one and it's kinda big so it is hard to keep warm in it maybe I would order one in a second I will think about it but it seems it's ready to move in and the entrance is not the prettiest it's just a hole and I guess if I want to sleep here I have to put something against it to prevent my neighbor's cat entering and pissing on me and also to keep the warm air inside actually it's it's kind of nice I would say there's the roof construction nothing fancy but if it works it's a good idea cheers mate I'm going to work <laughs> 